Hello and welcome. So this is my third time filming this video. Um, <laughs> uh, I saw an eagle and I just had to stop and take photos of that. I would have filmed it, but it was just way too high up to show you guys. Um, so today I'm going to be talking about the Scotch broom. Uh, it's an invasive species here in British Columbia. It's native to central parts of Eurasia, as well as central continental climates of North America and grasslands. Um, it's a very, very hot weather savvy plant. Uh, it looks very aesthetically pleasing in a desert type garden setting. Um, it has this very nice bilabiate um, bloom to it, very similar to a snapdragon or a pea plant. It has stamens born in clusters of 12 to 14, with a little bit of really kind of extensive pollen there actually. Um, it has these very, very flattened. Um, uh, stems to it. It's very aromatic. It looks almost kind of similar to a caper in how the blooms uh, do emerge. Um, it's very very prone to suckering, so I don't know if you can see here. There's just a little tiny sucker here. When it first emerges it looks very very similar to other desert type plants. Uh, it looks quite similar to the Ocotillo if you're familiar uh, with that and you're from southwestern uh, United States. Uh, the Ocotillo is a very similar plant to this. Uh, has this really bright canary yellow flower, blooms quite profusely from April all the way into mid and late summer. Uh, the blooms as they fade, these ones are just starting to emerge but they become a bright orange color. Um, it's not edible, it's very very toxic uh, to your gastrointestinal system. So whatever you do, do not eat this plant, it is very <laughs> very toxic. Uh, you can touch it but yeah, you want to avoid your eyes, you want to avoid eating it, it's, I mean, it's not sapping right now, so I should be fine. I got hand sanitizer, uh, so I'll be fine, but it is quite a toxic plant. Um, it's very, very uh, extensively monoculturalizing inside our uh, plant communities here in British Columbia, and that's why we're trying to limit the spread of this plant. So I highly don't recommend gorilla gardening this plant into ecological zones that are struggling with biodiversity because it does have a tendency of taking over. So this here is the scotch broom. It's growing here in association with um, this beautiful cornice. Oh, I love this plant. This is the plant of British Columbia where I'm from. This is our provincial flower. It makes me so happy. Um, it's got salal around here, got a hazel. Uh, and I got another beautiful cherry over here just to show y'all how wonderful uh, nature is. It's just really quite inspiring. Um, so yeah, all the other plants in this video are completely native here. Uh, this here just got here by chance. It's not native. It's an introduced species, but I'm for it. You ask me my opinion, I think it's here to stay. And yeah, I hope y'all have a really good day.